What's up cave dwellers? Today is the day Spud the Truckador gets a new coat. We're gonna do it. So this is where the truck stands today. The rock rail and bumper are already with the liner extreme. It's uh, there in just uh, black and I ordered gray then I'm gonna paint the entire rest of the truck. We're gonna attempt to. I uh, got a new hood and fender gonna install those and see what happens. Here we go. My disclaimer is I am not a paint and body guy, nor do I desire to be one. But for what I'm applying, the bed liner, liner extreme stuff, it's got 220 grit sandpaper on one of these oscillating orbital sanders going end to end to scuff the truck. <laughs> Get a clean scuffed surface, we'll clean it down, uh, and then we'll apply to apply to bed liner. Although I wouldn't recommend it for real auto body work, the orbital sander worked really well for this purpose. That's about all I can do with the power sander. I'm gonna have to use just by hand to get a lot of the body lines and edges and stuff. So Use power where you can and work where you can't. Time to say goodbye to the shopping list hood. Really been attached to it. And get a fender that's somewhat straight on the truck. Getting the old fender off and the new one on was actually kind of a pain. That fender flare with the little plastic body clips was a real pain to get installed onto the new fender. Found a sharp point right through my finger. Oh, there we go. There's the blood. I think I'm current on my tetanus. Actually, I think it expired like a month ago. great <laughs> good test good first test run I don't think you got it from here <laughs> I kind of like that black primer on there right through good little slice ah oh. yeah that's gonna leave a mark gonna need a band-aid how's your roadside assistance truck where's the first aid kit all right, we got Sam's Armageddon Jeep. She should have a good first aid kit for us. So excited about using the flesh stapler. You're Look not, at this thing. You're not flesh stapling my fingers. Although oh, they might need fix it. you right up. Dude, those are that's deeper than I thought. Like that's like yeah, you legitimately need a flesh staple. <laughs> I need a band-aid and maybe some Neosporin if you have some. It helps lube the band-aid. I've got Dermex. No. <laughs> the pink pills. Give me the pink pills. I have sting relief. <laughs> I don't think I have Neosporin. I do. I do have antiseptic wipes. Yeah, well, just give me band -aid. I just need to make the bleeding stop. I should do. Yeah. I'm sure you don't want a flesh staple. If the band aids don't work, we're doing the flesh staple. I don't know if you can see it, but right up here, it's a real rough cut. And that's that's what sliced my finger. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer shot. That little guy, you can see the kind of the ridge on the cut. That's that's what sliced me. And it's kind of like that all the way around. So my fault for not wearing gloves. So it's about to pull the windshield wiper nozzles off my old hood. And one of my unique talents, I haven't really found much useful for it, but it's interesting. 
just God-given talent, is I have a good ability of finding four-leaf clovers. There are two four-leaf clovers in this frame right now. And just in case you didn't believe me, here's a couple more. There's one. And there's another one. The hood's the nicest thing in my truck right now. So this does hurt a little, but we'll hit it. Let's see if we can get this new fender on without hurting myself or the truck. More importantly, the truck. More words. Oh, hold on. And hold that. I can just grab the tab and twist it. It has taken us all day to get to this point. You can see the sun is literally setting. But the truck has been prepped, taped, pulled a couple of dents out, a couple I couldn't get, but I think it's pretty good. All taped off, sanded, we're about to mix the paint, and then we're going to spray it. So that, that right there is a lot of work. Last thing I'm going to do is wipe it with tack cloth, or mix up the liner extreme and go. This is my second time using it, so I'm not going to say I'm comfortable with it, but uh, we're getting better with it. It's a mess when you actually use it. It's good stuff, but it's a mess. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it. Not going to talk a lot while we're doing it because it's kind of all hands, all engaged, but I'm just going to let the camera roll and see what we get. So this stuff comes 1.5 gallons at a time. You get a bag of grit, a reducer can, part B can, which is like the hardener. And this is kind of like the paint, only really sticky. And when you mix it all together, you get 1.5 gallons, and that's just the size they come in. Last time we did this, was like 40 degrees, and it was much thicker. About this time of day, too. Uh, it might we, have been. It was about it, right. Check the color before you apply it. Make sure it's what you want. Check. It's gray. <laughs> Um, before mixing, make sure air finish, compressor, prep, we did all that crap. Yep, sure, I'm not even reading that because I don't want to find something we didn't do. Mixing, kits are pre-mixed. Mix 1.5 gallon kit at a time. Do not mix a 3 gallon kit all at once. Oh, hey, look at that. Um, I'm working faster than you're reading. I'll let you know if you do anything wrong. Temperature should be 45 degrees or warmer. Check. <laughs> I don't think we had that last stuff. Well, we're already doing better. You know, that might have had something to do with the thickness. 18 to 24 inches, do not attempt to spray on heavy. Whatever. Spr put it on thick. I don't care. I do care, but. If using a texture hopper gun, use small or medium tip. Treat hopper with WD-40 prior to putting material in to make cleanup easier. Oh, we never did any of that. Another tip is get, the, check the tip? get the Harbor Freight one and throw it away when you're done. You want to go check the tips in the box to see if we got the smallest one? Sure. Yeah. Don't poison my face. Uh, I cannot guarantee that. Uh, do you want to go ahead? Do you want four and half that grit? Oh, wait, you want half the grit, right? Yeah, I think we do half the grit. Okay. I know I read that somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> maybe it's their website. This maybe. looks a whole lot different than what we were. That doing. is nothing like what we had last. Hey, that's time. one of my red buckets. We'll give it back. Okay. All right, you ready for half the grit? Is yeah. this all the stuff? Huh? That's all. Is that was it. Yeah. See what that looks like. We need the rest of it. We can put it in. Did you see? Did you find the smallest tip? Um. Yeah. Here's a small tip. I want to see. See what's in there. 
That's just gobbledygook. Dude, I'd be tempted to put all of that in there. I think I'm going to because I was just thinking I have no measurement. If we do half in this eyeball and half in the other, it's going to be off. It was like tar last time, just, you know? Fuck <laughs> it. Well, you got the granddaddy tip in there. <laughs> that thing's huge. Let's get the smaller tip on here. Big middle little. It's nowhere near as thick. I'm watching what I'm seeing right now. Alright, smallest tip. 75 to 100 psi works best. And that's what I got it set to. Alright, you ready for this? Not really. I'm gonna shoot the uh, cardboard first. Uh, you wanna grab the bucket and uh, pour it in here? Or you I wanna can spray it or? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna you spray. I'm gonna try to set the fluid. I want you to get it going. If you get it going, I may spray some. Okay. Pour me in some. Like concrete. Tell me when. That's good. Dude, that's perfect. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't change the thing. Yeah, that's good. That that works. You wanna hold it? I'm gonna jump in the bed. I'll get I'll get the roof and uh, the hood, and then you hit the sides. All right. All right. All right. Gonna move you way back. Hey, grab those paper towels. Actually, brought a set here. Give me a wad. I dripped pointing down a little bit. I got it off film. But I can, I can, I can fix that. It's going on much, much better this time. Last time we did it at like 45, maybe 40 degrees, and it was like spraying molasses. I mean, I was happy with it, but it was a pain to work with. This is going on kind of how, how I hoped it would. It's smooth, it's even. This is much, much better than last time we did. At least the application part.
run just a little bit right there. Just go over it. Well, that's it. We'll look at it in the daylight once we peel off the wrappers. Here's the finished product in the daylight. Came out really nice if I do say so myself. Couple quick notes. First, yes, I am in a hotel while editing this video and filming this clip. And second, the liner extreme, it looks like it's white, almost cream when it, in the video. And when it went on, it was that color. But over time, it's kind of hardened and cured uh, a little bit darker. Like even over like one to two weeks, it seems to continually be getting a little darker, getting more of a gray color, which is the color I ordered. So far, I'm really happy with how it's looked. Uh, I've had it under bumpers for about three to four months and now got it on a truck. Give me about a month or so, play with it and use it, beat on it a little, take it on a couple trail rides. And I'll see if I can shoot another video, let you know how it's holding up and how I'm liking it. But for initial impressions, I'm really happy with it, really liking it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, give me that thumbs up for a like and think about subscribing or maybe even sharing it. Till next time, we'll see you around.